At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. You'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. Kentucky has reached an unfortunate new milestone in its battle against the coronavirus, with more than 1 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 since the start of the pandemic. And those numbers have gotten a boost with back-to-back records being set the past two weeks. Figures released Tuesday show Kentucky had nearly two and a half times as many cases as the state saw during its previous record week during the Delta surge back in the summer. Chart, as we showed it last week, was incredible in uh, how much higher uh, two weeks ago was than any other week on record. But as this chart shows you, uh, the increase is significant, uh, severe, 72,165 cases in one week, by far uh, more than any other surge that we have had. Uh, That is more than double uh, the records that we had had during the Delta surge. One glimmer of hope is being seen in areas that began experiencing the Omicron surge before Kentucky. Public Health Commissioner Dr. Stephen Stack noted that New York and Rhode Island began seeing the surge one to two weeks before Kentucky, and both states are now seeing cases plummet as rapidly as they earlier rose. There could, though, be some light ahead, and if we could put up the first slide, please. Like I did last week, I'll start with a slide taken from the 91-DIVOC.com website this morning. For comparison, I show here Rhode Island which has had the highest recent Omicron peak in the nation, and also New York. These states are probably about one and a half to three weeks ahead of where Kentucky is in the Omicron surge. Both Rhode Island and New York are showing a rapid decline in new cases that appears to mirror the immediately prior vertical climb. If Kentucky follows this pattern, then we may see our own peak within the next one to two weeks. And this, of course, would be a very welcome reprieve. Kentucky's positivity rate has now set a new record at more than 30 percent. The state's death toll now stands at 12,614.